Let's lava your lamp. Except for there's no lava, no lamp. We're making a homemade lava lamp. Get off your butt and have some fun. Or stay on your butt and watch us have some fun. Either way, welcome to Destructive Creativity. Today, we'll be making a lava lamp. Okay, it doesn't work anything like a lava lamp, but looks the same. Before we do any of that, make sure you boop the subscription button so we don't cry ourselves to sleep. <laughs> Any more than we do normally. <laughs> Let's get everything ready that we need to do this cool experiment. First, we need vegetable bubble oil. And water. Yep, water and some Alka-Seltzers. Yeah, that's pretty much all we need for this. It's very, very simple, but really cool. The first thing that we need to do is to mix the water and the oil together. That's not possible. <laughs> not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain exactly why in a minute. Okay, well, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these jars up about a third full with water. I will fill the rest of it up with vegetable oil. Now, let's add the colors. What color do you want? Mm, let's use blue. I want red one. We have successfully created lumps of color floating on top of the water. They're supposed to pop when they hit the water, but it oh, popped. it popped! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh. I was not expecting this to look as cool as it does, but it's really, <laughs> really cool. cool. I love it. See, I was afraid that all of the good science jokes are gone. No. <laughs> There's more than I think. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering why the food coloring isn't mixing with the oil, don't worry. We will be enlightening your brain with knowledge soon. Yeah. Yep. Now that the water is colored, our last step is to break up an Alka-Seltzer and drop the pieces inside. water don't mix because of how their molecules are constructed. Water is what is known as a polar molecule. A polar molecule has an unequal sharing of electrons between the top and the bottom. Vegetable oil, on the other hand, is a non-polar molecule made of long chains of hydrocarbons. Unlike the water molecule, there is equal sharing of electrons between the carbon and the hydrogen atoms. This means that the electrical charges of the atoms are not separated, so the molecules don't have opposite positive and negative ends. It's important to remember that the polar hang out with the polar, and the nonpolar hang out with the nonpolar. So water and food coloring mix because they are both polar molecules, but the oil is left out in the cold. Here's the surprising part. The Alka-Seltzer tablet reacts with the water to make tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide. These bubbles attach themselves to the blobs of colored water and cause them to float to the surface. When the bubbles pop, the color blobs sink back down to the bottom of the bottle and the whole thing starts over until the Alka-Seltzer is used up. When the chemical reaction between the Alka-Seltzer and the water is over and the bubbling stops, you are left with the original water and oil mixture. Ah yes, the old adage, 
Oil and polar molecules are just like people that hate each other's guts. Yes, that little nugget of wisdom. Yeah. You know, this actually got me thinking. If water is H2O and hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, what is H2O4? Drinking. <laughs> Because <laughs> H2O is for drinking. I'm gonna cut it off right there. Oh. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. New videos coming out every week, and bloopers are coming up, so stay tuned. See ya! Le yeah. Mm. Hey, hey Eliana! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that it has been scientifically proven you can eat lava, but only once? Please don't take my money. <laughs> Dang it! Can't get blood from the stones, copper! Ah! <laughs> Try again. <laughs> In your face, internet! <laughs> Bye! Arrivederci! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>